Welcome to the Relentless Hope Daily Podcast with Max Bard, where we give hope a spot to shine in the darkness. By listening to the daily version of our podcast, I'm bringing you quick highlights from Relentless Hope with Steve Gatina that will help you love your life, lead with purpose, and leave a legacy of helping others. But the God of grace, who hath called us onto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. Dear Lord, living in this broken world filled with pain is so hard, but I draw strength from your grace in your unending mercy, compassion, and eternal life that you continue showing me. Thank you for sharing your grace with me, for giving me your strength, your compassion, and your courage to endure all of my struggles and hardships. May your grace continue shining through my heart. May your grace show me how I can be your ever faithful servant, helping to reveal your grace, goodwill, and joy in this broken world. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I remember twice very clearly saying to God, I just can't do this anymore. And as I wept before God, but I'd say, I know that you want me to, so I'd just ask you, please give me more love for Jeannie. And I'd go to bed and I'd wake up the next morning and there would be more love in my heart for Jeannie. And I knew that was God's grace because I'd come to the end of myself. It had to be him. So I understand, I understood then that God's grace is there for everyone who would receive Jesus. It's grace, we all live, whether believers or unbelievers, by common grace. But then as, as followers of Jesus, he gives us specific grace for the work that he's called us to do. And I understood that at another level. On this episode of Relentless Hope, Gerard Long teaches us how God sometimes calls us to suffering. He never causes it but he permits it for a greater eternal purpose. And sometimes it's so that God's grace can shine through our brokenness. We learn how Gerard grew closer to God after suffering through the tragic loss of two of his children, his 17-year-old son, Alex, to suicide and his daughter, Rebecca, in a drowning accident. Gerard explains how his marriage to his college sweetheart, Jeannie, came within a threat of failing after she lost her faith in God for two years, and how Gerard turned to God enduring his most brokenness. We learn the three powerful teachings that God showed Gerard during his deep suffering, and how he reveals how we are all saved from our suffering by God's grace through our faith in Jesus. Gerard reminds us that as followers of Jesus, he too gives us a specific grace. We listen as Gerard recalls the times he cried out to God, why? Telling him, I just can't do this anymore. And how Gerard used prayer and faith that God would deliver into Gerard's heart exactly what he needed to make it through his brokenness and to do the work God was calling him to do, to do God's will. For Gerard and his wife, Jeannie, God's will was for them to help heal the brokenhearted. We learn about the ministry that Gerard and Jeannie started after the deaths of their children. And the couple are doing God's work, helping to heal people who are broken all over the world. In four years, Gerard and Jeannie have helped more than 30 of the most poorest villages in India, getting clean water, mosquito nets, medical aid, and food. As Gerard shows us, God wants to help heal the brokenhearted. He wants to turn around suffering, whether you're struggling with depression, addiction to drugs, feeling suicidal, suffered abuse, are going through a terrible breakup, or have endured the agony of losing a child. Gerard's story teaches us that by God's grace, no matter our suffering or brokenness, we are all worth and deserving of God's grace. No one is so broken that they cannot be rescued or saved. And with that, I give you today's takeaway of the day. Out of suffering have emerged the strongest souls. The most massive characters are seared 
with scars. And that is a quote from Khalil Gibran. All right, thank you for listening to Pray.com's Relentless Hope, the daily podcast. I'm your host, Max Bard, and every week I'm committed to giving you quick sound bites from this week's episode of Relentless Hope with Steve Katina. If you liked this episode of Relentless Hope, be an inspiration to those around you by sharing this episode with someone you love. You never know the difference you can make in someone's life by sharing Relentless Hope during a tough time. As we sign off, I want you to remember, give hope a voice.